Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some champions, and it's been a little while since I've done a video, a uh, Mystery Rank Up Theater video, and I have been ranking champs up, but not any big ones. So what I've been doing lately is just ranking up for the units. That's all I'm really interested in. I don't go crazy like I was where I would rank up three and four different uh, champions in one level up, things like that. So sometimes I'll rank up a five star. I'm not going to make a video about that. Uh, sometimes I'll rank up a four star and I'm not going to make a video about that either. But when I take up a six star or a seven star, then I will make a video. So. We've got some uh, six stars to rank up. And uh, if you think you can guess what champs, it's been a while, um, that I ranked up, leave a comment below. Let me know what your guesses are. Um, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. So the first one is going to be Danny Moonstar. Now, I admit, I do not know a lot about Danny Moonstar. The main thing I heard about her was that she is a great counter for Nick Fury. But every time I've used her against Nick Fury, it didn't really go so well. All right. So I asked uh, some folks that, you know, are sub to me. And I asked in the, some groups, you know, what am I supposed to be doing with her, you know? And they were like, well, you need to fire off that special one before, you know, he gets to his second life and she can shut it down. And I'm thinking, you know, there are champions that are much easier to use than that. You know, like um, Penny Parker can easily shut it down, you know. But I heard recently, and it was after I did this rank up that she is going to be changed. And one of the things that they're looking at in particular is her counter ability to Nick Fury. And um, we'll see what they do. I'm very interested to see what they do. Um, they mentioned a few things, but there are still ways they could do it. For example... Um, they don't have to give her more damage. What they need to do is tweak her ability, and they wouldn't have to do that much. You know, look at Penny Parker. They just need to make her debuff work like Penny Parker's uh, heal block. You know, add that particular mechanic to it, and you're done. But I am interested to see what they do. I have not really used her that much. I'm taking her to rank three, but her and Kate Bishop are at rank three right now. And who gets to rank four? I don't know. Because the purpose of me taking a champ to rank four right now, especially with the resources the way they are, they are coming in more plentiful, but they are still not that plentiful, okay? Um, but the, I usually look at three areas, Alliance War, Alliance Quest, Battlegrounds. As much as I hate Battlegrounds, I do take them into consideration when I do my rank up. So I ask myself, who is good for one of those modes? And do I need a rank up for one of those modes. So, you know, my path doesn't really change in Alliance Quest. So if I already have someone that I need, I'm good. Uh, that's what I did for uh, Null. That's why I ranked him up to four as much as I like him anyway. I mainly did that because he is a beast for the path that I take. All right, so... That is uh, the Danny Moonstar. You can take a look at her stats really quick here. All right. Uh, so 
the next one is going to be Sandman. Now, Sandman was... <sighs> there was a potential buff for Sandman. It never made it to the live. But when we saw what they were proposing to do for Sandman, we were excited. We were like, oh man, this is going to make him relevant. He's going to be awesome. He's going to be so much better than he is. You know, not that he's a horrible champ by any means, but this buff was going to really take him to the next level. And then when the buff got here, we found out it had been toned down. So the buff that we actually got was not the buff that we got so excited for. Now, I was going to grab him from the uh, arena regardless. I didn't really care. Um, I did not have him. And he came to the basic, and so I wanted him, and I grabbed him. That's pretty much going to be my, um, my MO going forward. I am very unlikely to go for the six star in the uh, in round one, and I'm even toning down uh, me getting five stars because five stars right now I don't really use them. Um, I I discovered this when I was doing say a regular milestone grind. By the way, do you see that I ran out of uh, science? ISO. I got plenty of ISO. Just ran out of science. So you're going to see me trying to get some more science ISO. Very annoying. Uh, but anyway, um, what I have been doing is using my six stars for both the featured and the basic because I don't need to get it done quickly unless I'm trying to put up a big score. We have three days, right? So the first day I'm live streaming and I am doing the summoner trials. After we're done, if I feel like it, I might do the featured or the basic, but in the featured, I can use, well, I can use it in both the featured and the basic, but I use my seven stars and it doesn't actually take me that long. If I want to just rotate and just run my seven stars plus a few of my six stars, that's all I need. I don't have to sit down and grind it out, you know, for hours. Okay. And for the basic arena, I used to use five stars. But I can use my ranked up six stars because my six star rank fives and rank fours are actually more points in the basic arena than my five stars maxed out. Not by a whole lot, but they're more. So what I've been doing in the basic one is just running. Once I get done with the featured, I'll run my seven stars, six star rank fives, rank fours and just wait till they come off cooldown and do it again. Very, very laid back and leisurely grind. And that's what I'm gonna do. One of the things that I'm, I'm doing right now is I'm playing another game. And my sister also wants me to start playing a third game and we haven't decided what that's gonna be. We had some game that kind of failed because I really wasn't interested. It's got to be a game that, that's going to make me actually want to play it. And um, it looks like Horizons might be that game because I really loved it on the console. And it is, it's either on the PC or it's coming to the PC, the next um, edition. And so if we do get that, you're going to see me starting to play that one. And uh, I might play it on my, you know, new channel 
or we might just decide to play it on Rumble. Uh, it seems like that might be the simplest uh, way to go, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I might uh, wait until it gets bigger and has its own income, then you know I might be able to dedicate and be able to stream to all Rumble, Twitch, and YouTube. But maybe starting off, I'll probably do just YouTube and Twitch. And then every once in a while, maybe uh, Rumble. So I need to cut back on the crazy grinding. Still going to grind, but no crazy grinding unless the champion is really somebody that I, I want. All right. And Sandman, cool. All right. Next one and last one is Adam Warlock. Now, if you guys watch my uh, recent opening, I pulled Adam Warlock. Now, I wanted Adam Warlock. And I love seeing this new champion because I was going to have to grind for him when he came around to the basic. Now I don't have to do that. And that's just more time that I can dedicate to doing other things. Now, what I like about Adam Warlock right now is two things. And there could be a whole lot more. I don't know him all that well yet. But one is his unblockable mechanic. Very nice. I actually used him uh, in arena against a Penny Parker. And he was unblockable, and he was tearing her up. Now, I don't know whether her auto block, because her auto block can block unblockables. And I don't know if it works against him. It didn't work against him in that instance. But she didn't have her shield up and, and all of that, so I don't know. Uh, if you know, let me know. But... Uh, I love the unblockable, and I love how you can kind of get into a rhythm and keep that unblockable up. The other thing is the stasis pod, which I always call the sarcophagus. But a stasis pod, that is annoying when you're fighting against him, and it's awesome when you're fighting and you need that stasis pod to come in. It is wonderful. Now, I, at some point in time, will take him up to rank four. In Battlegrounds, it looks like he's a triple threat. Don't get scared by the fact that you see that I ran out of gold. I'm not hurting for gold. It may look like that, but that's because, one, I have not opened up any battle chips for a long time. Two, I've been ranking up champions like crazy. And three, most of them are in these crystals. I have almost 10,000 of the uncollected crystals, uh, gold crystals. And who knows how much I have in the uh, battle chips. So not too worried about it. I also use gold exclusively for the Alliance Quest tickets. Well, they are about to update the Alliance Quest, I believe, not this one. It might be the next one. Uh, the next uh, iteration of AQ. I'm not sure. But they're going to be taking away the cost of the Alliance Quest tickets. I don't know if that's temporary or permanent. And they're also going to be making it, I think it's a four-day uh, AQ. Is it four or three? I can't remember. But it'll be um, choose your own days, basically. All right, anyway, those are the champions that I took up, and that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, and you all have a blessed day.